It's my pleasure to be here with you on behalf, on behalf of the University of Calgary, from Calgary, Canada. It's probably my 14th time in China uh, in the last five years, uh, traveling to about more than 15 cities, and so I've made so many friends during this time, and I always enjoy coming back, and particularly to uh, China University of Petroleum. And thank you very much for inviting me to speak at your event. We are very pleased to be part of the Worldwide Energy Universities Network, together with other leading universities from China, UK, Russia, Germany, Canada, uh, United States, and many other countries, and jointly promoting education and research collaborations, as well as you know, student exchanges and knowledge sharing, and many parts of that related to energy. Located in Canada's energy capital and the most livable city in North America right now and the fourth best city in the world, the University of Calgary is recognized as the top six research university in Canada and one of the top 200 most globally oriented universities in the world. These achievements make us proud, but at the same time, we also want to contribute to strive for excellence. There are many opportunities to develop solutions that address some of the society's most complex challenges, and sustainable energy development is one of them. That's why the University of Calgary, we have focused our strengths in energy-related research. We do have a comprehensive energy strategy developed and launched in 2013, which we have more than 70 faculty members more than 1,500 graduate students and more than 110 fellows are working in a number of areas in a, related to energy research and uh, making uh, the set, develop a secure, clean and energy future. Let me remind the four grand challenges identified in our energy strategy. Un unconventional hydrocarbon resources, hydraulic fracturing, towards a low carbon future and community use systems of energy related processes. We know that we cannot do this alone. So we are very proud to work with our partners through this worldwide energy use network towards excellence in energy, education and research. The energy industry downturn may have changed some priorities, but others have emerged and the University of Calgary was able to adapt and evolve to meet with the world's new energy priorities. For example, we are currently implementing a global research initiative in sustainable, low-carbon, unconventional resources in Canada to significantly reduce the carbon footprint of unconventional resource development and contribute to a climate neutral energy system. A major initiative funded with $75 million from Canada, which is equivalent to 396 million yuan by the Canadian government. We are proud of the solid collaborations with China, with whom we have most comprehensive education and research collaborations. Many of them are with energy field. When the University of Calgary launched the International Strategy in 2013, China was identified as a country of emphasis, a priority country, with, with a China Regional Advisory Council chaired by our president, Professor Elizabeth Cannon, who is also a professor in engineering. This focus has resulted in the launch of the Global Energy Research Initiative and a site, it's a center in Beijing for joint energy research and training with Kerry Group with a generous support of $11.5 million, which is equivalent to 61 million yuan. And we established that one in 2014. And of course, we have invited China University of Petroleum Beijing to be one of the collaborators of that. Similarly, we have done many other programs related to this area. Examples include a petroleum engineering capacity development program with CUPB and PetroChina. 
and with all the other agreements that we have in China, one of the other initiatives that we did at the, at the institutional level is to see, because Canada is a country that we welcome qualified personnel, it would be a tremendous advantage for students to study in China and to complete that study in Canada and get well degrees. So we started the articulation program related to science and engineering, two plus two programs and three plus two programs. And the two other programs, of course, are very, very popular, are oil and gas engineering as well as the geosciences. And these programs rely on 20 articulation programs, agreements actually, with 12 Chinese universities. And then, of course, I'm proud to say that during the last four years, 35 students from China University of Petroleum had already enrolled into this program in engineering and science at the University of Calgary. Similarly, PhD Cotital program is another successful joint collaboration with CUPB and with the other Chinese universities. And also we are in the process of developing another program at the master's level with CUPB related to petroleum engineering and of course oil and gas engineering in, uh, in, at our university. When you look at various publications, the collaborations between faculty members related to this area, I think it shows a tremendous uh, uh, impact as well as performance of our researchers working with the Chinese researchers. And I, I expect that similarly with our partnership that we have today with 28 universities that this will create other opportunities for us to work together. So many, many, uh, if, you, if you really look at it, there are many uh, exciting points of connections as we, as we explore these opportunities to lead innovation in energy education, research and development that will benefit our local economies and the wider global community. Our government, federal, provincial, and then of course the industry partners recognize this shared interest and they are committed to continuing to build strong ties. For example, China is Alberta's second largest trading partner. And our provincial government has developed several agreements with the Chinese government to facilitate collaboration in industrial research and development. We have a strong history of working together and we can look forward to a promising future of continued collaboration. I would like to finish by thanking China University Petroleum, Beijing for hosting us today and for our solid partnership that includes, as I said, many aspects of it, including student exchanges, joint dual degree programs, research collaborations and training programs, including our reputed global energy MBA program where CUPB hosted our students here in Beijing. As mentioned, we are excited to work together with CUPB on developing joint master's programs that will benefit our students and universities. On, a, on another note, I must mention that we also are in the process developing a relationship between University of Aberdeen, we have a representation here today, CUPB and us on the same energy field. We also know that we have a very worthy partners in energy education and research, we, you know, and also the uh, 28 partners today uh, that the CUPB has brought to, to Beijing for their 65th anniversary. And we look forward to collaborate with all of you. Many thanks to our host for let us all enjoy this very successful event and again congratulations for your 65th anniversary.